Hi everyone, welcome to History San Diego. I'm George Favar. I'm pleased to present to you the series premiere of History San Diego. I'm going to talk with you about the discovery of San Diego Bay by explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo. He's recognized today with the National Monument, the Cabrillo National Monument. Uh, and so what I want to do today is to present to you details about what happened on September 28th, 1542. But first, some background about this amazing explorer. Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo was a conquistador. He was a Spanish conquistador, though there are people that say that he was originally from Portugal. But he served in the Spanish military, he served under Hernan Cortes. And so as a conquistador, his role in the military was fighting to conquer for the Kingdom of Spain, what we know today as Mexico and Central America. He became a rich businessman. He was a shipbuilder. He was called upon by the leadership of Guatemala to lead an expedition, an exploration, to discover the Strait of Anian, what we know today as the Bering Strait. They were looking for a fast route for trading to the Spice Islands to enhance the Spanish trading empire. And his discoveries of his time were not immediately celebrated or recognized, but he should be recognized for his discovery of San Diego Bay. And so, on September 28th, 1542, he found himself in what we know today as San Diego Bay. He called it San Miguel. What I'd like to do is read to you from a book called The Explorers. I will read to you an account of what happened on September 28th, 1542. The next morning, September 28, 1542, Cabrillo sailed along the lee side of Point Loma, anchored in the bay, and stepped ashore on California soil. Most of the latitudes which he assigned to ports he discovered were in error, and often the descriptions left doubt as to exact locations. But as to San Diego, there could be no doubt. The port that he named San Miguel is San Diego Bay, though he listed it as in 34 degrees 20, instead of 32 degrees 40 north latitude. The journal tells of the discovery as follows. On the following Thursday, they went about six leagues along a coast running north-northwest and discovered a port, closed and very good, which they named San Miguel. It is in 34 and one-third degrees. Having cast anchor in it, they went ashore where there were people. Three of them waited, but all the rest fled. To these three they gave some presents, and they said by signs that in the interior men like the Spaniards had passed. They gave signs of great fear. On the night of this day they went ashore from the ships to fish with a net, and, appears, and it appears that there were some Indians, and they began to shoot at them with arrows, and wounded three men. Next day in the morning they went with the boat farther into the port, which is large, and brought two boys who understood nothing by signs. They gave them both shirts and sent them away immediately. Next day, in the morning, three adult Indians came to the ships and said by signs that in the interior, men like us were traveling about, bearded, clothed, and armed like those of the ships. They made signs that they carried crossbows and swords, and they made gestures with the right arm, as if they were throwing lances, and ran around as if they were on horseback. They made signs that they were killing many native Indians, and that for this reason they were afraid. These people are calmly and large. They go about covered with skins of animals. While they were in this port, a heavy storm occurred. But since the port is good, they did not feel it at all. It was a violent storm from the west, southwest, and the south, southwest. This is the first storm which they've experienced. They remained in the port until the following Tuesday. The people here called the Christians Guacamole. 
On October 3, 1542, the expedition left what we know today as San Diego Bay, what they named San Miguel, and they went further up the coast, and they did more charting, more exploring, but there was a tragic end to the life of the great explorer Juan Rodriguez Cabrillo. He got injured in what was said to be uh, coming to shore to fight uh, Native Americans that were allegedly attacking. So he was injured in a fall. On January 3rd, 1543, he died before the expedition returned to port. There's a tragic end for an explorer in his 40s. A conquistador, an explorer, someone that today we recognize as having discovered San Diego Bay. But there's a lot more to this story, and in our next History San Diego show, I'll talk with you about the Native Americans, because to the Spanish, of course, in the 1540s, this was the New World, but to the Native Americans who lived here at that time, it was their world, and it was not a New World. It was their world, a world in which they lived, worked, played, and died. And in the coming years, things were going to change for them dramatically, turbulently, and tragically. And I will discuss this with you in our next show. I want to thank you for watching the first show of the History San Diego series. I invite you to please subscribe, to please share this video with your friends, and to join us if you're interested on Facebook groups at History San Diego. I also have a website called thelefttournetwork.com where all my shows are at. I also have another show called Exploring with George on another YouTube channel. So. I hope that you've enjoyed what I brought you. I want to bring you unique, special moments in San Diego's amazing history. And in the coming years, I'll be doing that. The best is yet to come. Thanks for watching. Take it easy. See you later.